recording? Yeah. Oh, okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. As previously mentioned in the last video, if you did see that, we're doing the Shanahan shoe. But first, today's sponsor, Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. 23 flavors of goodness. Like, is it 23 flavors in Dr. Pepper? I think so, man. Michael Jordan 23. Anyways, that's not our real sponsor. That would be kind of tight. I drink a lot of sodas. Bear, box me. I need that. So, we have this Shanahan shoes here. Long awaited, much anticipated shoes. So, if you don't know who Shanahan is, then you don't even know who the brand DC is probably because he is kind of like the driving force behind the name DC now. Um, you have Kevin Bilyeu, Jameer Brown, two big names in it as well. But for the most part, I think Shanahan is like one of their top skaters right now. You know, you have Kalis, obviously, is their Halo child. That's kind of the word I was looking for, mm. I think, yeah. So you got Kalis. He's obviously the name behind DC mainly right now. But then it goes down to Shanahan. The man has been a pro skater for like a few years now, and he's just now getting his shoot from DC. But let's. So. This up. Here it is. When I first saw it, so like, I. Uh, I've known about this shoe for about maybe two years now. I didn't necessarily care for it too, too much. It kind of, at first glance, it looks like they kind of just threw a bunch of stuff together and it's kind of like more of a mashup. But it's one of those deals, like the more you look at this thing, the better it gets. Aside from the sole, you know, like I wish they would have given him his own sole. I mentioned this on my Instagram page. This sole does kind of give the shoe more of like a mashup feeling. You know, it's kind of like the... DS4 clockers with the Lynx bits on it, you know, it's it's a mashup. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining about it. I'm not complaining about it. I love the clocker two sole. I love the design of this upper. It's, you know, it's colorway friendly, like Kelly Hartnum said on the Nine Club. You guys have probably already seen it, but the Nine Club did a video on these shoes already before they came out. Oh, man, like, what would Shanahan have created if he got to create his own outsole is, you know, just always in the back of my mind when I'm looking at the shoe now. It's crazy to me to see that, like, as a first pro model shoe, they cut corners, you know? Like, I get it in, like, you know, Shanahan 2 or 3, let's, hey, let's switch it up and do something, you know? But, like, ah, man, it's just tough. I would have, I really would have thought they would have just did a whole complete shoe. I've been told by somebody that was basically like, I don't know how to say this without like sound like I'm stepping on toes or anything. It's like saying DC didn't have full confidence in allowing him to do an entire shoe. I don't know if that's the correct way of saying it. Again, like I'm stepping on thin ice over here. It, uh, fuck. I guess the main question is why this sole and not something else that's unique to make that a full blown pro shoe? Yeah, so it's not a, it's not like, it's, it's no longer its own shoe now like i was mentioning that's the thing to me like when i look at this i i see shanahan one because it is but then also just mashup that's the first thing that comes to mind mashup it's not a whole new shoe you know what i mean like it's like an existing car they change the bumpers and headlights and taillights on it and then they're like new sh new car and yeah it's, it's, it's still the same car but i mean I I, like i said i love this i'm not complaining about it i'm more so if like, if I am complaining, I'm more so complaining that DC did not allow Shanahan the ability to do in a whole new soul. I know the souls are the most expensive part, and that's the thing. Maybe they just, maybe DC was kind of nervous to spend the money on a whole new soul. But, I don't know. I don't, none of us really know. I'm just guessing, because who knows? Maybe Shanahan was like, I don't want to create a soul. I love the clocker two soul. Put that on my shoe. And if that's the case, then, you know, so be it. But like I said, for me, I'm seeing... It's, and again, this is hard to say. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I see like a mashup. I see a new shoe and an, and an old sole. That's what I see when I look at this. I wish I saw a new shoe, new sole, new everything. But I'm glad that DC even did this because we're at a day and age where pro shoes are becoming non-existent. People are getting colorways of shoes and that's about it. It's weird to see because a lot of, 
like our favorite shoes growing up were pro shoes because it's tied to the skater you like. You know, kids that love Shanahan are gonna absolutely love this shoe because this is Shanahan's shoe. Like they're like, I gotta have what Shanahan's got. You know, me, it was the Muska growing up. And you know, a lot of other skaters as well, but like this right here, I mentioned in an Instagram post, like I had this poster on my wall growing up. I would stare at like Chad Muska's outfit and I was like, I want those pants. I, fucking, I just realized I kind of have like similar shit on right now. But I was like, <laughs> I want those fucking pants. I want to sense them up like that. I want these circus shoes. I want a time my laces like that, which I do nowadays. But you know, I wanted everything because that was the Muska, you know? Like, like, and I mentioned to Shanahan a long time ago. I was like, dude, if you continue down your path, you could become like, the, like this generation's version of the Muska because he completely stands out from everybody else. And I'm not saying he's like, you know, he skates like the Musk or anything. You know, I'm just saying like, he could be like this generation's version of, but that's the thing. And so I really do hope we continue to see pro model shoes. Shoe companies, if you're watching this, please fucking keep making pro model shoes. I don't like, I have to like stop myself from saying stuff that I know would like offend somebody or something like that. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't want to step on toes. That's the thing. It's, Plus, I mean, we also don't know, like, maybe they had multiple designs, but this one was just the one like that I made said, the most sense. I thought, like, when when Shanahan came out with the Lynx and, like, the Shanahan Lynx that they made a few years back, I was like, man, all black? Like, this, come on, bro. Give this dude better colorways. Apparently, that was the colorway he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so, again, that's, what, you know, I'm just assuming that DC did not let him get his own outsole. Which, if that was the case, fuck you, DC. Y'all should have given him his own household. But again, he might have wanted this. I mean, clock two sole is amazing. I mean, look at this shit. That's just tight. I mean, let's get the ice bottom with the black background. I look yeah. Politics aside, let's get into this shoe. So, it's pretty clear to see that this dude went through DC Heritage line and picked out bits that he loved. This shoe is styled closely to the Howard 2, which I conveniently put up. I'll pull that out. Fuck that. I'll pull it out in a minute. Anyways, it's styled kind of like the Howard 2. The main thing that gives you that idea is that strap right there. Obviously, if the Howard 2 was a mid, this is a low. The colorway alone is a Howard 2 inspired colorway, which is why like, I, I love that. You know? you know what I just thought of too? Got to nitpick a little bit. Like... Could've given him his own box. If you're possibly saving money on the outsole, could've given him his own box. God, they're all falling apart. Look. Look at that. Crumbling. The box is all soft, the shoes are all soft. Yeah, so you can kinda see the Howard 2 in this. I guess the Howard 2 isn't really like a mid top. I mean, it's a little mid. Yeah. You can't say a little mid now because oh, like yeah. the new terminology of it. That's like saying it's not good. Yeah. This is like the most reference shoe people go off of when they say like the Shanahan looks like something. They say this. Mostly the strap is the biggest thing about it. The strap on the Howard 2 is like, it's permanent. But it's tight because like it doesn't flop around really. But yeah. I prefer the option to be able to take it off. Better than the strap. The sole's close, you know, because the Howard 2 sole is kind of similar to a Clocker 2 sole. They both came out around the same time, I think. Alright, let's wrap this up. Hope you guys liked that video. Brandon's got a lot of editing to do. Just know that when you watch this video and you're thinking like, God damn, that's a long ass video. It took way longer to record it because I <laughs> talked a lot. Brandon's really editing out a lot of crap. What the fuck? There we go. I need to put these back up. This thing, it's just got everything, dude. The tongue is kind of like the legacy and links all mixed in. This thing right here, this is the one thing I don't really like. I don't know why, but like this triangle piece right here on the tongue, it's kind of weird to me. Let's see. Take the strap. Also, this strap is removable. So if you don't like straps, pull it off. If you don't like it being on the outside like this, Flip it around, put it on the inside. It doesn't matter. But I don't like this little piece right here. 
I would like like you know the whole strap, whatever. But also, it's not my pro shoe, so this is tight though. This tongue is nice, man. And these shoes, he had mentioned, he wanted like a good bit of padding, but not an overboard amount. And he knocked it out with that because like like that, you know. This I love the exacto, but that's a fucking overly huge shoe for no reason. Where did I grab this? Oh yeah, I'm gone, dude. I'll see. I'm trying to like take it all in. It's hard to describe the shoe, and I'm just now starting to look at it. But like this logo. It's just like how I was saying on this, you know, like that clear plastic. That's what that is right there. That's that's tight. I like that. Just so many little bits on this. I love all the mesh. Um, I've mentioned it before in videos, but mesh on shoes is like a must for me. It does have this little ventilated eyelet that was on another shoe. Oh yeah, Legacies. That's just a lot larger on his shoe, and you can like see right through that thing it's a, basically a hole in the side of the shoe which is nice this is kind of like similar nah, this is thinner than the legacy the legacy obviously is a great skate shoe but this thing right here i feel like would be amazing to skate in it's got a softer suede toe double stitch which i thought he would go triple stitch you know it's like that old touch shit like this clear Plastic, rubber, polyurethane, I don't know what the fucking... I need to learn my shit, man. You would think after doing so many videos, I would, like, learn what to say? Nah. Oh, these smell nice. It's like a new scent. It's kind of sweet. It smells like Get a lift. Oh, God. You gotta, you gotta join in on it so it's not as weird. If I do it only, it's, you know, kind of weird, but... I drag you in. It's not. It's like a brand new Nike, but add like a like a four. What the fuck is a four? I don't know. You got like fucking how strong it is. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, a, a four what? A Jordan four? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Check out this insult. Fuck well, me. That's thick. Good. <laughs> now see. Hands down, this is a fucking insult. Thank fucking God. For one, it's not that same shitty material that every fucking company uses. Orpolite or something like that, I think. It's fucking, that shit's miserable. So this is like insole here. Like, for like art support and stuff. This little rubber shit. That's like, I don't know. But then you have this, whatever material it is, all the way through. Now it is flat. You know, and like this stuff right here does absolutely nothing. Like it looks cool. And... I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff, you know, but once you put this shoe on, you don't notice that. Your feet don't touch that at all. Your feet pretty much just stay right center anyways. The details. That's what matters. The details. Doesn't matter if it's functional or what, you know, it's just, it's nice to have details. Look at that. They got branding right there. Why? But at the same time, why not? This is tight, dude. He might not have got his own outsole, but he got his own insole. So that's, you know, <laughs> a victory in itself. I'm going to put that up. This thing was hard to get out. Probably going to be hard to get in. Let me tell you what's not hard to get in. Let's hear it. Your mom. Hey, <laughs> dude, it's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> I waste all my mom jokes at work, so like, I'm burnt out on them when we do videos. Hey, this bin's in the right spot. Oh my Remember god. You're, like, Your foot doesn't <laughs> bend like that. Yeah, this actually bends at the toe. Like, I'm not changing how I, like, you know, flex it or anything. It's just, you know, I try to flex it in the middle, that it doesn't work. That's nice. This bitch is, like, correct flexibility. Oh, it does have tongue centering straps, too. Remember, Norm, you're probably watching this. You were asking about that. It's in, dude, it smells so nice. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Let's take the strap off for the video. Fuck. You gotta kinda like weave it through. So like, one thing I have been 
like, I, I want to say wanting, but at the same time, not necessarily wanting, but just maybe a need. I want to see, like, mid-tops again. I don't really even wear mid-tops. I don't know, like, why. I just, it'd be nice to see them out and about. But this is, like, a great alternative because I wear low tops, like, pretty much all the time. The only mid-tops I wear are probably, like, the Vans skate highs, which I guess those aren't mid-tops, they're highs, but, you know what I mean? Looks really good without the strap, too. Also, take in how tall this tongue is. Like, I love that. I really absolutely hate, like, a tongue that would sit like this. Look how terrible that shoe would look. How shitty that is. That had a little small tongue. There was a couple of Lynx OGs that came out like that. Piss me off. That's how it should be. Just for looks. I don't think it really helps anything with performance-wise. But looks amazing like that. Also, get Shanahan. He's got his own little logo. It's on that. It's on the back. On another little clear rubber piece. He should have his own logo. I mean, damn. Dude, Is that the first time that's ever been done? That good, yeah. I wonder how that came about. Like, they're sitting in a boardroom meeting or whatever. I'm like, let's get this dude his own logo. Or, you know, if he'd already came up with it. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't know how you would approach somebody and be like, hey, bro, you need a you need a logo for yourself. Right. You know, let's just brand you. You know, it's like yeah, Jordan yeah. with Nike. Like, he's like... Yeah, the Air Jordan logo, yeah. Yeah. I mean, not saying he's the Jordan of skating. I'm just saying. So they have... Um, you guys have probably already seen Shanahan skating in a bunch of the different colorways. They have one that has the camo sole, which is reminiscent of the DC Cypher, which I don't actually have a pair of, and I kind of wish I did, but then they sell too fast. Usually Eli on Instagram, if you're watching this, buys them all. The Cypher itself is like a terrible, terrible shoe that's so terrible it just became awesome to me. And I would probably never wear one. So it's cool to see Shanahan actually taking what I liked about the Cypher, which is that camo sole, and implementing it into his shoe. And he's got like a red and white colorway. The one with the camo is all white with the black and white like urban camo, snow camo, I don't know what we call it, camo. And he has like an all black colorway, I think, too, which norm, that's perfect for you. Apparently, a lot of people didn't like this colorway, which I found weird. Like, I thought this would be the colorway people would be going nuts for, because it's the one that I was going nuts for. But I guess it's like in Joe Dirt 2. It ain't about what you like. It's about the consumer. I'm kicking the wing with my fireworks stand. I'm like, I only like the snakes and sparklers, so y'all should like it. If you haven't seen Joe Dirt, goddamn, I'm sorry. I just waste a lot of good references if you haven't seen it already. Joe Dirt just drove by. Oh, yeah. Oh, also, laces, nice. Pretty thick, round lace with that like textile, like whatever the fuck you'd call it, like hiking inspired. The shoe was great. I, I'll admit, like I said, when I first saw this shoe, I was kind of like let down, I guess, at the time. But mostly because I just saw the clock or two, so like, you know, I'm not going on that tangent again. But didn't like the paneling at first. I'm like that with pretty much everything. Anything there's, anytime there's like something new, I'm usually like, eh. And then the more I look at it, I'm like, oh, all right, yeah, I can see that. Like when the new Civic came out, mm. that replaced the older one. I, I'm always talking about, I'm a car guy, so I bring up cars as references a lot. When the like, I think it was 2022 Civics came out, that's when they changed the body style. And it went kind of like more bland, like back to like their roots per se than the first. Right. So I was like, ah, that's terrible. I'm gonna stick with the FK8s, you know, whatever. If you don't, FK8s, the first one was Civic. Google it if you don't know it. But now, like, I see the new ones, I'm like, yeah, those are a lot better. And it was like that with this for me. I saw this and was like, ah, man, I don't even know if I want to get one. And now here I am, and I love the shoe. And that's kind of another thing. You know what? Now that I'm on this subject, if any shoe company is watching this, for the love of fucking God, please, please give us more of a heads up of a shoe coming out. This is a perfect scenario of that. Had I not seen these shoes a long time ago, and had time to stew and rethink how they looked to me, I would have passed on it probably. Like if I if I had a week's notice, like hey, guess mm. what? Tomorrow's fucking okay, Dave Johnson fives are dropping. Like and I saw them, I'm like, ah, fuck, fuck it, I don't care, you know. Right. But like I missed the glory days of advertisements where a company would post like a teaser ad in a magazine and go coming in six months. You know, the fucking Brandon Davis threes, <laughs> long awaited. Like they would, they would build hype in the every advertisement. 
And then by the time the shoe came out, even if you fucking hated it, you wanted to get it because you were like, just the hype created behind it, like alone, you know? And that's the thing, like they don't do that anymore. And people get mad at me when I show teasers, like, like I'm trying to snake the company for advertising. Like, no, I'm just trying to, sh I'm hyped. I'm trying to sh let everybody else be hyped. That way when it does come out, people want to buy it. And that's the thing, like, companies don't do that anymore. That's why, like, there's people like me. There's a lot of other people that will um, upload a picture of a shoe coming out before the company does it. And it's not because they want to get, uh, actually, I can't speak for them. But for me, like, I don't give a shit about getting likes. I hide my likes on Instagram anyways. I do it because I'm hyped on it and I want others to be able to see it and be equally as hyped. I know the feeling, so I want them to be able to enjoy that feeling as well. Like I said, nobody wants to wait and then three, four days get noticed. Oh, by the way, this is coming out now. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, you know, then you gotta scramble, you gotta save up money somehow. Like not everybody just has money sitting in their bank accounts and able to purchase this shit immediately. Please give people more time. Advertise better. It's just this, it's this hype age, hype day and age we're in. Like they want to follow the brands. I get the concept behind like that last second advertising because it's kind of like it immediately puts you in shock you're like oh shit uh what and then you try to do everything you can to make that purchase happen and i get that that's like that's what they're going after they're trying to shock you and then basically mentally fuck you into being like hey, fuck my rent <laughs> my right, shoes you know yeah. i gotta get them I gotta, I gotta do whatever i can do yeah you know because at the same time you know having a heads up gives you time to save gives you time to look at it more and think about it more also gives you time to decide hey i don't need that you know so like i understand it from both ends but i just would like people to have more time it's like old video game releases you yeah. have like eight months yeah oh and this is fucking release day yeah could you imagine, imagine all right cool could you imagine like halo going oh by the way new halo comes out tomorrow <laughs> like, <that's> just, <laughs> to me it's a stupid like it's a stupid yeah. part of the there's but no build up, there's no yeah, hype, like, there's no the thing, anticipation, like, it's just, uh, yeah, fuck this, I'm not yeah. lying. Like, I mean, I don't know, like I said, both ways work, uh, ultimately. Kind of sucks for the people that, you know, don't just have thousands sitting in their savings account and can just impulse buy a shoe like that, because right. if, if they're given three days notice on a shoe drop, like, hey, this Saturday, guess what, the shoe you've always been wanting, we're dropping it now. Now they're fucked because yeah. like, they're like, oh shit, I just paid all my bills and I don't have any extra money sitting around. Like, what the fuck do I do? Like, and that's, that's fucked up. Like, give everybody a chance to buy them. That's the thing, that's the whole thing behind like, you know, giving a long release date, have a month's notice is cutting it close, but at least a month's notice. You know, like, hey, guess what? In a month, we're gonna drop the Shanahan one. You ain't gonna show a photo of it. Just we're gonna drop the Shanahan one. Then you know what's up. You're like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. Like you know, I love Shanahan. I'm gonna save save some money for that. God damn. Talking about that for a long time. I'm trying to like think of every little detail I can think of. I do love the just casually go right back into the shoe. Fucking <laughs> advertise better. Fuck you. These fuck this, lace loops. These it's are like, lovely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but no, the, the lace loops are not, the, oh, god damn, this is weird. Um, this is, threw me off. This, like, uh, you're supposed to lace through this, right? But this is always, like, in this area. Oh, it's yeah. very odd to see, like, that all by itself, way the fuck down here. Oh. I think I have another shoe. Look at these beauties while I got them in my hand. There's... Oh, they're falling apart. They're not doing so good. <laughs> the Thanos snap. These bitches are starting to fade away. All right, let's try this one. And also, just an advance heads up. My pants are probably nowhere near baggy enough to style these. Good. Ooh, that's a good fit. That ain't bad. That insole is pretty comfortable on the heel. Like. That heel impact skating is probably going to be like non-existent. Oh yeah, these these flex good. Mm -hmm. It's like effortless. That's tight though. The Shanahan logo is like it's cool. Like you, I mean, being John Shanahan and looking at this has got to feel like dope. You know what I mean? Like how cool is it to just have your own fucking logo? 
these are fucking good, dude. Like it's natural fitting. Like this is just a comfortable shoe. The insole's nice. The whole upper is like perfect. You know how like the Legacies would like squeeze the fuck out of your foot right there? The Clocker 2's kind of do it too. This doesn't. Now granted, I have a normal, I think normal foot. Like it's not <laughs> wide, it's not long. Um, doesn't have like a crazy arch or nothing. Like I have like, you know, a basic foot and this shoe fits like perfect. This is like just comfortable. Like sometimes you wear shoes and you get home and you're like, I gotta fucking take these off. I feel like these will not, you know, be that case. Like one good thing too is this, like you see like cuts around your heel. Mm. So like, I feel like you could have these loosely laced. Like mine are kind of loose. I, I pulled them a little tight, but like I feel like you could have this shoe loosely laced and it stay on good. There's just like, even on the inside, like you can feel it, like there's a cup there. Bro. You know how many mom jokes I'm dodging because they're like a little <laughs> too X-rated? <laughs> like there's so much going on that the more you stare at this, the more you like take in and realize what's going on. And that's something that's kind of like lost in skate shoe design nowadays. When I was a kid and I got a new pair of shoes, like skate shoes mostly, but I would like sit there and I remember I'd be in my room, stare at them, just take in everything, you know? Like it was just, it was amazing to me. Like the, with like taking designs and stuff, materials and whatnot, you know, all the little odd bits. Thought about this a lot lately. Like I realized I don't do that anymore. And I always thought it was because like, you know, I just have a lot of shoes, you know, that's what I'm like. What am I gonna do? Stare at all my shoes forever? Like, no. With this shoe, I've had this for like a week before recording this. I'm still like, you know, we're recording and I'm I'm not like looking at it for the video. Like I just I just caught myself just checking it out. Like the old days, man. Like this shoe brought it back. I want to look at this shoe and look at all the details in it. Something I normally don't want to do. But also it's probably just because, I just thought about this, but I do buy a lot of old shoes that are just reissued and whatnot, you know? Like, I've already seen them. This is new. And that's the thing, going back on the just giving people colorways, you give somebody a colorway of a shoe, we've already seen it. You know, the new colorway's nice, but like, giving pros their own shoes gives us that chance to sit down and just enjoy a whole new shoe and stare at it and love it. I mean, blown away. Not gonna lie. That's crazy. I didn't think I, like, like I said, this shoe, I, I kind of even thought about just not even buying a pair back when I first found out about them. And now I'm just, like, legit blown away. Like, this is crazy. This is something, like, I'll probably buy more of this if I can find some more. Kind of sucks that we did this video so, like, late after me getting it because... I got these and I, you know, I, I glanced over them and stuff, but I kind of like put them off to the side because I was like, you know, I don't want to waste the like wow moments in the video, you know what I mean? Like by me just looking at them already, I did look at them a lot. And, but just now, like the more I'm sitting here staring at this, the more I'm like, fuck man, I should have got more of these because like I want a pair that are brand new that I can like just, I, I want to put them up here on the wall, you know what I mean? Like they belong showcased they belong skated they belong worn they belong like all of it this is a damn good shoe most of that comfort man these things are fucking comfortable you know what they might not have given his own outsole but they did right on this shoe this thing is good all right that's a wrap on this video i'm gonna quit talking about it it's just dope bro if you haven't bought a pair of these go buy a pair man if you like dc you like Shanahan, you probably already bought a pair, but, you know, if you don't like DC, you don't like John Shanahan or whatever, it doesn't matter, give this shoe a chance, because it's dope, man, it's tight. An all-around perfect shoe, I guess. It can be bought, thrown on a shelf, stared at for years. It's comfortable. It can be worn around, you know, as a regular, everyday shoe, and I can't speak on it yet, but I think this would be a great shoe to skate in. Should be his pro shoe you'd figure he'd make one that's good to skate in but like i said soft suede flex is good soles like the bottom of the sole you know it's that clock or two sole it's you know softer right there which is nice it's the trifecta it's all of them you can collect it 
you can rock it, you can skate it. Go grab a pair if you haven't, man. Another thing I just thought about, like, the colorways that they have coming out, it's kind of like one for everybody. Like, they're just so different that, like, it doesn't matter what you're into, there's probably a colorway for you coming, which is good to see. I wonder how long these will stick around. It's a Shanahan 1, everybody. Or, I should say, Shanahan 1 with a clock or two sole. <laughs> Nah, this is, this is tight, dude. Like, I love this shoe. It was, it was good. Yeah, that's it, man. Congrats, Shanahan, on your first pro shoe. Fucking long, 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 long overdue. They should've given this shit a long ass time ago, but I'm just glad they did, finally. You know what would've been cool? If we to wrap this video up 35 sock, minutes ago? Sock liner. A sock liner? Yeah. Like, like the fucking... Like that? That's like an old tub. Yeah, this thing's amazing. <laughs> Alright, that's a wrap now. Oh, super sweaty. Thank you, Dr. Pepper Zero. Let's go party. <laughs>